Joseph from Forbes Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun Tech Review, back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I'm doing camera tests with the LG Velvet 5G. This is in 4K at 30. I'm going to test out the video and then I'm going to do some photos too at daytime, during the day and at nighttime. It is a, another hot day in Texas, but it actually just finished raining. How does everything look? How's the audio? The phone has been out for a while now on AT&T. So I'm doing some testing out on the cameras. Everything looks pretty good to me. I need a shout out LG for actually sending this phone to me for a review. I don't know, everything looks good by the display, but again, you have to get it home on a computer and see exactly how everything looks. But I'm gonna come back at 1080p at 60 frames and today in peace. Okay everyone, so this is 1080p at 60 frames per second on the LG Velvet. Again, what do y'all think about it? How do I sound? Look at the sky. Everyone wants to sleep on LG. And I try to tell people not to because these phones that they have been producing the last couple of times have been really good. I love my LG V60 and this Velvet is just as cool. Look, look at the water. They actually have some movement to the water. Like I said, it did just rain, which is a miracle for Texas. But again, the Velvet has been doing really good. I did a sound test between the Velvet, the Pixel 4a, and the Note 20 Ultra. Y'all can check out that video. Let me know what y'all think about how that did. A lot of people were saying the Velvet did a better job. I'm gonna come back with 1080p at 30, and to then, later. All right, everyone, so 1080p at 30 frames per second on the LG Velvet. Again, battery life has been good on this phone. Everything has been really good on this phone so far. How's the mics doing with the wind right now? Because it did get windy for a moment. If you have the velvet, are you enjoying it? Look, I think that's great with the colors too. I'm glad nobody's on the playground because it is soaking. Even though they have that cover a little. But what y'all think? I think it looks good, man. Now I wish the front cameras did more than 1080p, but it is what it is. You can get this phone from AT&T with the dual screen. And it's coming to T-Mobile too, but with a different processor, which is kind of weird, but I don't know what T-Mobile's doing. But what y'all thought about this whole video? What y'all thought about 4K? I think it did really good. I don't know, let's zoom in. I didn't zoom in on the other videos. That's eight times zoom. Not too bad. I mean, a little shaky. The Pixel 4a does a good job when you zoom in. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole video. Stay tuned. I'm going to have some photos coming up and also a front-facing video. Until then, peace.
everyone. So I sound corrected in the 1080p at 30. I said the front camera can only do 1080p, which is a lie. I did not see this option when I was doing a test earlier. So this is actually in 4K at 30 frames, and it can do 1080p at 60 and 1080p at 30. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know it could do that. What y'all think about the background? Looks a little blown out to me, but let's go do some walking. How is the stabilization? Which I thought about the photos. They actually look pretty good to me. 4K and 30 on my LG Velvet. That's actually pretty cool. Stay tuned. I'm going to come back with some nighttime video and photos. And to then, y'all know what I'm going to say. Peace. Okay, everyone. So this is the nighttime video on the Velvet. Yes, I'm shooting this in 4K at 30 frames. What do y'all think? Man, this camera is pretty good at nighttime. That actually looks pretty good. And yes, that is Walmart. Shout out to Walmart. It's actually open now all the way to, I think, 10 o'clock. It was closing earlier because, you know, a little situation going on in the country. But now they are open. Look at that. Eight times zoom. Looks kind of horrible, but I can see that car parked all the way across. But what y'all think about this whole video? What, how do the cameras do to y'all? To me, they look really good. The photos and the video come out really good. Look, slow pan. I'm going to give me a massage one day. Well, some clouds. But what y'all think about the whole video? Y'all let me know. Let's get a discussion going. $599.00. At at t Let me know if you want to pick up this phone just because of the cameras. But I'm going to come back with the front facing video and also some photos to wrap up this video. And to then, peace. So this is a front facing camera on the velvet at nighttime. Shout out to the minivan again. Real man drive minivans. I'm gonna start a group up called that. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this whole video. What y'all thought about the front uh, facing uh, video on during the day. Also the photos, the photos at night. What y'all thought about the whole cameras? $599, these cameras are really good. I will put this against my V60, also the Note 20 Ultra in a comparison to see how good the cameras really are. Let's see if anybody picks the LG Velvet as their favorite camera. Shout out to Big Lots and the workers back there. What y'all think? Look at the sky. It looks really good, man. Look, good skin tone. Yes, you see all the wrinkles up in my forehead. So, but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this whole video. You know, th do you like the cameras or you don't like the cameras? Let me know. We can have a friendly discussion in the comments. Also, make sure you let me know if you had the phone or not. So that way, we can definitely talk about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button for upcoming videos on the LG Velvet. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Fours Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. Until next time, peace. I'm out of here. You have a great day or night. Peace.